Hey guys, it's Dooza. Uh, today we're going to talk about why permissions are important. So today I will show you why the correct permissions are important and what happens when you overlook permissions. Uh, as always, remember the basic methodologies. Uh, today's example, we will be searching for writable files. So this is a method you can add to your arsenal of things to look for during your snooping stages. Um, so let's crack on. Let's see what we find. So I've got my attack box here. So the first things first, let's snoop. And there's nothing really in there, right? So we're, we're happy with that. So the next stage, normally we've used, in the previous examples, we've used find to look for fi uh, files uh, that have got the SUID bit set. But today is going to be slightly different. We're looking for files that are writable. And you'll see why in a second. So let's find writable files that are going to be quite useful to us. Um, send that to the rest, that don't matter, to here. Let's see what we get. So there's quite a few. We'll go up to the top and let's just scroll down. Mm, nothing there that really stands out. And this is proc, proc, proc. Proc, TMP. There we go. That stands out very nicely. So let's see shadow file. A very, very important file. Um, and it seems that this is world writable which is a big no-no because it's clearly been there's an oversight somewhere the admin's probably fallen asleep at the wheel and just completely forgotten what happened so let, let's look more into this right let's just clear this for a second we know it's etsy shadow lsla etsy shadow let's, let's, let's get some more information on this and there we go read write read write read write by anyone and everyone hmm Let's do cat at C shadow. Well, there's no root password set anyway, so that's interesting. Hmm. Tell you what, let's let's use this oversight to our advantage. Let's create a password or generate a password right, using OpenSSL password dash one. So I'll give it a salt. Let's say ABC and then password. Right. Let's take that. Let's copy that. Copy. And let's stick that. Let's open up Vim. Let's see shadow. And let's see. I'm sure. Let's see. I'm sure you have to press I to insert. So if I delete that and I paste that and to save. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's escape, and that should perfect. That should save it. So let's do the next thing. Let's try to get root access. To get root access, let's type in Sue. It's asking for the password. And who am I? I'm root. ID. There you go. UID equals zero. GID. So I'm root. Simple as that. Again, this is something that you want to keep in the back of your mind when you're when you're doing your when you're doing your snooping around when you're trying to get information, looking for ways in, looking how to exploit either oversights or bugs. You know, add this to your arsenal. All right. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your time, guys.